We were bound for the stars. But the stars had other plans for us. Our cities were bright. We were walking in the sunlight. And then... Nimrod struck. Arriving from the stars, the asteroid obliterated our world. Radiation spread, the climate changed, and sea levels increased. The oceans were our demise, but now they're a chance for survival. Beneath the waves, we will find a new home, and you will be there to build it. Hey guys, how's it going? So today I am going to do a first impression, let's play a review of a game called Aquatico. Uh, the game releases today, uh, today is technically not today since I'm recording this game before the release date. Uh, so obviously first of all I have to say thanks to the developer for providing me with pre-early access code. And uh, there is as well a, uh, a demo that you can play on Steam if you just want to try the game out. But I am playing the uh, full version of the game, like I say, before the game is actually released. The game releases on the 12th of January. As far as I know, this isn't confirmed yet, but as far as I know, the game will not be releasing into early access. So... Um, yeah, the game is a full release um, game and the game will be priced at roughly 20 to 25 uh, dollars. So that is the price that we are going to evaluate the game on today. Even though the price is not confirmed as of the time of my recording, uh, that is the price that we will be evaluating the game on. Now, before I begin, as always with all of my first impression, let's play reviews. I'm going to play the game for an hour or two and I am going to give you my running commentary throughout. So I'm going to be telling you what I think is good and bad about the game as we play the game. Uh, as always you can simply skip to the last 10 minutes or so of the video uh, i will put a, a timestamp uh, below so that you know where that exact point is uh, if you skip to the last 10 minutes or so of the video i will give you there my quick concise final opinion on the game but otherwise just stay tuned and i will be uh, giving you my running commentary on the game as we play through the game so i've never played the game before i literally just did the tutorial of the game which was like 15 minutes so i'm very much still um learning the game so we will be learning the game today uh together so one really interesting thing is that um the developers are not the same uh but the publisher is the same for uh patron if you guys have uh played patron before um it's a, a pretty nice game i actually have uh patron in my um steam library i can show you here just one quick second so you can see over here, um, I've played Patreon before and I have Patreon in my Steam library. It's a really good game. It's 75% positive on Steam. In my opinion, it's actually better than 75. It, it's a really nice um, a colony sim game or a city builder game. And um, the publisher for Aquatico and Patreon are the same publisher. So that's really interesting and the upon release of the game you will be able to buy Patreon and Aquatico together in a bundle for cheaper than what you would normally pay for both the games. So um, I can definitely recommend Patreon. It's a really nice game. Uh, I, I cannot yet 
recommend Aquatico, but we will see by the end of the video. Perhaps I will like Aquatico as much as I like um, Patreon, because I'm I actually really quite like Patreon, and I would totally recommend that you get the game. So when you start out, you can select a place to place your uh, base your basically starter main base you can select a place to to put your base the blue on the map is called a bus so that's basically um a place where you can't build or really explore it's like a dead dead water basically also the red area is uh, areas where um the terrain is too high or too rough you can see there's many uh, ships uh, uh, cruise liners and stuff like that scattered all over and you can press g on your keyboard to um show where those areas are so the red areas you, uh, you can't build in the green areas are fertile ground uh, there's also orange areas let me find one over here orange areas are uh, crude oil areas so all of this uh, over here is crude oil and then you also get ore rich areas which is these white areas around the areas where you can't build so all of this is ore uh, rich area that is an ore rich area all of that so you get different areas and then once you've made your mind up to uh, the, the place where you want to build you just click and then there you have your base that you uh, start out with you also have these little drones that are your workers as well so uh, I've actually already started the game and the, the one where I literally just did the tutorial so let's quickly load that one up since I have already um, started there like like I said I've played the game maybe 10-15 minutes the tutorial was really quite quick there were just like 25-26 steps in the tutorial and that's it so so far I've built a uh, oil platform, fuel refinery, oxygen generator. Uh, this place is a battery uh, factory and then a plastics factory, sponge collector, uh, gatherers place, which is basically a place where they gather, gather all of the stuff. Uh, your main base. So I, I placed my main base over here and then a uh, power generator, which is a uh, tidal turbine and then also a small dome now the really cool thing about uh, the game is that you don't build exclusively underwater like obviously the majority of the game takes place underwater but you can also build your uh, civilization uh, above the water or not not technically above the water it's like a large um, tall structure and then when you press tab you can see the uh, basically living quarters of your people so it's not above the water it's still in the water but it's above your city and then in here you can build more structures you can build specific structures in here which you cannot build on the sea floor so there's various different structures here that you can build you can see there's many different um, structures that you can build probably like 40 different structures that you can build in here exclusively and then when you switch back down to the uh, bottom the the, the seafloor then you have more structures over here here are a lot of structures so there's probably 10 there there's probably another 25 there another 10 or so there three there three there so there's probably almost a hundred structures i would say in the entire game which is really cool the game is also really pretty i really like the uh the 
graphics of the game. I'm currently running the game on the highest settings uh, at 4K resolution. I am downscaling the video to 2K resolution, so you can watch it on a 2K resolution on uh, YouTube. But trust me, the game is really pretty. Like it's it's really pretty. All of the different uh, sponges and stuff um, look really nice and you can also fast forward the time just like in many different uh, colony builder or city builder games you can fast forward the time so currently we are on one time now we are on two time now we are on four time and now we are on eight time so you can even go eight times uh, the normal speed uh, as well so um yeah, the game is, like I said, a colony builder or colony sim game. A new wave of drones have arrived. Okay, cool. So we get more drones. Drones are obviously your workers. You can see your drones over here at the top of the screen. You can see your drones. You can see your residents, how many children, uh, adults families you have how many houses you have how many specialists and engineers you have you can see your influence points which i don't have uh, yet I, I don't know what to do with the influence yet so i guess we will explore that a little bit later on and then the happiness of your uh, city as well also all of your different resources you have credits food medicine basic goods luxury batteries sponges plastics tools iron stone quartz glass and concrete and then in addition to that you have your uh, statistics i guess i could say for your entire um, city which is electricity crude oil fuel and oxygen so those are the things that your city actually consumes you know it consumes oxygen fuel crude oil and electricity constantly so here, here you can see this little guy building our uh, battery factory right now the game also uses a uh, pipeline system like this pipeline over here you can click on it and then you can see that is the entire pipeline that I have set up. Everything needs to be connected through a pipeline. Obviously, it's underwater, so you're not going to be able to just load your stuff on a truck or on a, on a pickup or something like that and send it somewhere. So everything has to be uh, uh, um, run through these pipelines. My power now, unfortunately, is a little bit low. So let's quickly do something about that. I have these tidal turbines. I just want to see if I haven't unlocked a better power generator yet. But no, it seems the uh, tidal turbine is still the only real um, good thing that I have. Uh, one thing I will say that I don't like about the game currently is the fact that when you place a building uh, if you place it on sponges then you basically lose those resources and sponges are actually important like you see you can click on these sponges sponges are literally your resources so you can see over there, there at the top i have 567 sponges right now in my inventory um and when you place a building uh I'm pretty sure you destroy the sponges. So let's test it out quickly. There's a sponge over there. It's going to give me 10 sponge. So now I'm going to place a, a tidal turbine on top of that sponge over there. Boom. So we place it on top there. It shows a little icon here. Which I'm not sure what that icon means. But let's see uh, what happens when my people actually com come build this uh, tidal turbine over here oh okay okay that's interesting i actually like that so um before your building is built it actually uh, sends over a drone to remove those resources i wasn't even aware of that like i said i'm just starting out with the game and i'm still learning the game um, but that's nice i 
I really like that. Too many games like this, too many colony builder games uh, don't do that. Too many of them like uh, you put down a building, like let's take a big building, like something like this. You put down this and then uh, the game simply destroys all of the resources that you've put put it there you know like if you put a building in in the woods or anything like that it simply destroys the woods you know you don't get the the resources from the woods like the forest the wood or anything like that you, it just destroys the resources so i actually, actually really like the fact that these developers have thought a little bit extra you know they've gone the little extra mile to um, actually think about that because that's definitely th something that not a lot of city builders do i've played a lot of city builders you know uh anno i i'm a big fan of anno uh, i've played settlers the older settlers games i actually recently reviewed a couple of uh city builder um games as well um, I would have to check my um, Steam. I've reviewed The Colonists recently, which is a pretty good city builder. City Skylines, I've ob obviously played that a fair bit um, over the years. Um, Ixion is another one. It's not bad. Um, uh, there's another one that I recently played, actually a pretty big one. I just want to have a look here through my Steam library because I actually liked that that one. Um, and uh, let me just have a look here. What was the bloody name of the thing? Ah, Stranded Alien Dawn. That's the one that I played a couple of months ago. Stranded Alien Dawn is basically the same as this game. It's also a base building colony sim type game i really like that one um, but it's it's set in a very 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 different um uh environment i guess i can say than um this one obviously this one is underwater and, and, and all of that so we get sent 400 plastic holy schmoly that's a lot of plastic um, no space in stock okay to increase stock uh, increase warehouses depots uh, okay you can find these buildings under the public blah 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 public depot okay so that's all that i can build right now uh, it says capacity 1000 i already have one of these so i wonder like is it not does it literally just have a thousand capacity for one resource or is it all of your resources it's probably all of your resources because if it says that i already ran out of space then um it probably means it's for all of my resources okay so we're gonna put this depot over here and then I also want to build a um, another one of my main buildings, basically. Where is it? Gatherer's place. Yes, I want to build a another gatherer's place over here. Or is that a, not the right place? What what place am I thinking about? I basically want to place this place that has the drones. Like, I want to place the drones. What's this? Add directives. Oh, okay, I don't have these yet. The tutorial also didn't co cover those, so... Um, that's why I'm, I'm not aware of the directives thing. So I want to, uh, currently my drones are having to travel all the way from here over here to build stuff. So I want something that will basically extend the range of my drones. Uh, blah, blah, blah. 
Like, can't I build another thing that has drones in it? Let's have a look at the research quickly. You can also research in the game. So you go over here. Uh, drone factory allows... No, don't I already have that? I already have that, don't I? Uh, oh no, I don't already have that. Oil Imperium combo. Fuel refinery in proximity of oil platform. Gain 10% production bonus. Okay. Allows construction of a hologram panel that displays our faction banner. Improves our resident satisfaction with the surrounding environment. Uh, well, currently they're 100% happy with my place. So I don't really need to do that. Wow, look at all of this research. Holy schmoly. Look at this. That is a massive freaking uh, research tree, I have to say. Okay, it's going to take us quite some, <laughs> quite some time to work through that. Okay, let's build the drone factory or research the drone factory at least. Um, but the, yeah, yeah, I still don't know. Like the drone factory allows us to build the basic robot the robot fixtures of our mechanical assets like i don't like the fact that my my drones have to walk all the way from there just to get over here you know it's really inefficient and currently i don't see a way to remedy that at all so i'm gonna build another uh, oil platform here And then we build uh, the pipeline as well. We connect it over there. Because my crude oil is currently a little bit low. Um, so I definitely want to do something about that. My electricity is also still not um, very very good so i probably need to do something about my electricity as well fisherman's hub the operational center for our fishing experts produces small fish okay so the upkeep is sponges and the production is small fish i assume f small fish goes under food yes okay so the monthly used is currently five monthly used um so that would mean i'm pretty fine uh currently with um food to be honest um but i mean i don't have one of these buildings currently so i guess i can build one of them But the upkeep is 100 sponge like that's a lot of bloody sponge i need to build another sponge um, collector i think so you take these ones and then they highlight all of the sponges in the area so i think we can just build one right here because my other one is literally here and as you can see it, it's working at 125 percent uh efficiency which is really good obviously so i don't see why we can't build another one literally right here i just obviously don't want to build it on top of another uh on top of any sponges because then um my my work efficiency will go down so let's get that one going over there and then i'm definitely gonna need more electricity soon so we can build more um, tidal uh, turbines as well. I want to avoid building on top of any resources, like sponges for instance. I don't want to destroy sponges on purpose. Uh, 
unfortunately here I'm gonna destroy one sponge but um, that's life you will need more drones soon for all the work needed to be done a build a drone factory yep I'm uh, currently busy researching the drone factory so that's fine I'm one step ahead of you there okay so this place open stock panel okay yeah that's fine um so my only question is now where is all of the plastic that they sent us they sent us 400 plastic um so where's the 400 plastic obviously the plastic i had like i think 20 plastic or something like that and then um the they sent the plastic and my plastic went up like to 200 and something but where's the rest of the 200 like i basically just got 200 plastic so where's the rest of the plastic because 200 plastic is a crap load that's a lot of plastic let's upgrade the efficiency of these buildings Okay, so now we have enough crude we can actually build another uh, fuel refinery if we want to but I want to concentrate on plastics I don't have enough um, plastics right now I have more than enough sponges so I can spend sponges with uh, little regard to be honest I do need to work out how to get more credits from residences okay so you get credits from residences okay so we definitely need to build more residences then research house level two okay let's have a look here unlocks the ability to build central hub of our scuba hunters grants us the ability to build agricultural service that produce sea weed and sea cucumbers okay let's do that uh, i don't like the fact that you can't queue multiple researchers at once um, i really would like to be able to queue multiple at once so that's one issue that i have these are actually very cheap so let's build many of them they're really cheap and then we go back to the surface so we are going to be able to build farming stuff um, on the surface as well that's pretty cool I'd also like to point out I really like the graphics of the game. Like, the graphics is quite impressive, really. 800 credits, thank you so much. Like, I mean, just look at this thing. Like, you can actually zoom in quite a bit. Like, the graphics is nice. Like, I don't say that about a lot of games. I said it about Alien Stranded Dawn, um, but that studio is like a studio that has a lot of money like seriously the studio behind stranded alien dawn has got a lot of money the studio as far as i know it's their very first game that they've ever made because i don't see any other games from them on steam um so it's really impressive that they can make a game as pretty as this um, and it's their very first game that I've made. Like, that's really quite impressive. And you can even see the stuff moving inside the buildings. Like, look at that. You can see the resources moving in there. And you can see over here heat coming out of this uh, 
vent over here like it's really a nice attention to detail and you can see all of your resources that they loaded onto this uh ship going uh outbound now this is now the outbound ship and obviously all of the fish there's my many fish uh, in the game there's orcas as well like killer whales there's manta rays like there's many different fish jellyfish as well um so just really the attention to detail i actually really like okay so how far is our research it's nearly done let's see what else do i want global improvements reduce the consumption of all of that by 10 percent allows us to apply a recipe residential taxes that provide a weekly increase of plus one credit per house um sure why not let's tax the shit out of them see my plastics are going down uh quite considerably so we definitely need to build another plastics place let's see here So this uses sponge and fuel. Fortunately, I have enough of both of that. Um, let's build it over here. There's a nice open area right here. I can honestly maybe build two. How many fuel? Okay, so... I don't exactly have enough fuel to support it. Um, but I think one should be fine for right now. Okay, so that one is connected. Uh, what's the new building that we built? The drone factory oh here we go drone factory did we already build it battery factory no we didn't build the drone factory yet well, let's go ahead and build the the drone factory Work efficiency. What do you need to increase the work efficiency? That's my question. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, I don't see why it says 100% work efficiency if nothing is going to move the work efficiency at all. There's no determining factor factors for the work efficiency. So I don't know why it shows work efficiency, but okay. Okay, uh, battery factory. What do we actually need batteries for? Like, let me have a look here quickly. Batteries. What do I actually use batteries for? Where? Where? Oh, over there. Okay, so I guess we can pump up the um, reduction a little bit. Yeah, the upkeep is rough on that one because it's literally sucking all of my um, plastics. Some. It's good that I'm building a second uh, plastics factory. Okay, so is everything looking good? Uh, I do now have the ability to build an underwater field. So we definitely want to do that. Okay, that one is done. Uh, let's build a sea hunter's lodge. I don't know what it will do, but let's have a look. Uh, allows us to apply residential taxes. Okay, so where do we do that? Do we do it over here? Yes, we do. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So now we should be getting a little bit more income. Uh, underwater field. What does this actually do? Doesn't actually say what it does. I guess I have to build it on the fertile area. I'm just guessing. And I don't want to build it where it's going to destroy all of my sponges, obviously. Uh, let's build it over here, maybe. Oh, okay, so it's an actual building. Okay. Interesting. Um, I wonder, does it actually need to be on the fertile ground or not? Because it's not telling me that it needs to be on the fertile ground. I mean, I can build it here, can't I? Oh, there it says. Okay, place on fertile ground to blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it does tell you to, to place it on fertile ground. That's fine. I'm happy that it's at least telling me. At fertility 99%. I don't think you can get more than 99%. Let's move it backwards by one space. There we go, 100%. And uh, we can make it pretty big, to be honest. Okay, well, that seems like the biggest you can make it. You can make it more bigger in this uh, area, but let's make it like this. Or do we want to make it 24 by 24? Let's make it 24 by 24. Like that. Yeah, that should be fine. I don't know what we are going to get from it, because the tooltip here is literally non-existent, but um, I guess we're going to find out. Okay, research complete. Sea Hunter's Trident Combo. Sea Hunter's Lodge in proximity of Fisher's Hub gains 10% production bonus. Clothes Shop. Well, we have to do Clothes Shop. In order to move forward. Okay, now my plastics should be getting a little bit of a boost. the drone factory let's have a look twenty percent reduction bonus iron I don't have a lot of iron so I don't really want to spend iron now okay sea hunters lodge uh, blah 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 produces shark meat and it simply consumes oxygen so I just need to make sure that I have enough oxygen in supply so we can definitely do that it said that if you place it close to a fisherman's hub then it will increase the efficiency so do I even have a fisherman's hub right now no no I don't um okay so we can do that i guess we can place a fisherman's hub next to a sea hunter's lodge i just want to not really place it on the fertile ground even though it's going to be difficult to not place stuff on the fertile ground because 
on this map there's a crap load of fertile ground so it's uh, really not gonna be super easy to avoid that but I do want to avoid destroying all of my sponges okay we can place it here I guess Fisherman's Hub and then Sea Hunter's Lodge. And then the Sea Hunter's Lodge wants to be connected to a pipeline. So we can bring the pipeline over here. go and then what else okay that is almost done clothes shop let's just have a look here okay so i still only have two families is my drone place done already Oh, okay, it produces one drone every 62 days. Holy schmoly. Okay, well, that's better than nothing, I guess. Wow, my plastics is really low currently, and I already have two uh, plastics factories. So these things really need to kick into high gear. I also need to keep a lookout on my fuel. My fuel is... Uh, getting a little bit low so perhaps I should build another uh, fuel uh, refinery thing yeah I need plastics for that let's speed up the game a little bit holy crap all of my plastics was just used I think on these buildings maybe I had 30 plastics and then boom it just went went away okay now all of a sudden I don't need oh no no I still need crude okay that's fine no idle drones yes yes I know I don't have any idle drones because uh, this drone factory is hilariously slow 30 80 days remaining I definitely need to put this upkeep thing on all of my buildings because it will really help with uh, the long run, you know? Oh, I can actually also do this in order to increase uh, my electricity at very little cost. Basically only costs five plastics, which is very little. And uh, you can also eventually build bigger um, domes. Like this is a small dome. You can eventually build a medium dome and then a big dome. So I'm really interested to see how big the big dome will actually be. Ah, here we go. Subsurface base level 2. Allows a comprehensive upgrade of our subsurface base. The upgraded center will provide 2,000 additional credits per year. Have a storage capacity of... 1500 and increase our maximum influence by five that's really nice and then we can build a house too that's really nice as well okay so let's uh upgrade how how do we oh okay it already upgraded okay so it upgrades automatically we don't need to do anything uh, at all yeah because my money is a little bit low oh missing missing magriculture what the hell is magriculture 
I mean, I understand agriculture, but agriculture, what's that? Okay, uh, seaweed or sea cucumber. Well, both of which I have plenty of. Um, my sea cucumber consumption is six per month. My seaweed consume. Well, I don't have any seaweed. Okay, so I guess I'm going to build seaweed. Okay, seaweed, and then I also want to add sea cucumber. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Upkeep. Holy schmoly. 600 credits a year. That's very expensive. Okay, well, now we just wait. My uh, plastics are finally going uh, upwards. What's going on over here? No drone. Okay, well, I just have to wait until I get more drones, I guess. Okay, well, I did produce one drone. The next drone is in 56 days. Let's have a look here. Global improvement. Yeah, sure, we can do that one. Ah, workers en route to HQ. That's nice. So then we will have more workers. Like I said, I really like the the quality and the animation of the game. Like, look at this little dude in his mech suit walking around here. Like, that's how they go to and from the main building. They literally strap on a mech suit like this and then walk to and from the different places i really like the fact that they took the effort to actually do all of that new antelantis blah 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 uh okay so it's human workers i'm assuming yes human workers holy crap okay and now um our our well we do have enough houses Definitely, uh, but now we need more fuel. So we have to either upgrade this one. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, and then we also probably need to build another fuel factory. So let's let's do that because plastics are really uh, important. And uh, you consume a lot of plastics. Okay, right there should be fine. Yes. I think my power is still fine. This building looks really cool. This plastics factory. I like the uh, screens here at the front and all of this yellow and the heat coming out of all of these different vents over here. And this vent over here as well. It's really cool. Still don't enough have enough drones for this place apparently. Perhaps I should build another drone factory because this um, is really taking a long time. 
Yeah, let's build another drone factory, I think. Because drones are so incredibly important. So the, the upkeep is plastics, electricity and credits. I don't mind the upkeep of credits or electricity really, but the upkeep of plastics is rough. Like seriously, and my money right now is slowly but surely getting less, even though now that I have more humans, uh, my, my money should be a lot better. It should be... Um, I should have better income now. Um, okay, let's see. Research. Research is... Uh, researching uh, actually also costs a lot of money. Like, researching is not cheap. Let's speed up the game a little bit. You can see this thing planting the uh, stuff over here now, and we should see it growing pretty soon as well. Hey, we can see it start growing. You see the small little seaweed plants. So really a lot of attention to detail in this game okay no drone yes we we are aware of that unfortunately i need drones we are completely aware of that i'm gonna have to build another drone factory oh no i don't have iron for some reason what consumed all of my iron then oh it was probably this this drone because it costs iron to build a drone i believe um, and how do we get iron? I haven't reached the stage where we can actually get iron yet. Oh, uh, now I remember. Holy crap, I actually should have done this earlier you can actually mine iron from the sea floor i just forgot about it okay so let's do this like i just have to search for iron basically this entire place i don't like the fact that you can only select such a small area with this tool ah oh, there we go you know, I don't like the fact that you can just select such a small area at a time. You need to really be able to select a bigger area. There's definitely some over here. There we go. That's plastics. That's iron, I believe. No, what's that? Stone, okay. Stone is fine, I think. That's more plastics. Yeah, I completely forgot about the fact that you can mine the stuff from the floor, basically. You can also mine it from, like, the actual um, mountains, I believe. But obviously, um, right now, I don't have that capability. Okay, uh, let me just have a look here. Production buildings. Where is the iron mine? Okay, extract uh, an unwater mining, blah, 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 valuable ore from the sea bottom. Yeah, well, we will uh, need to research that, but I, I don't have the money right now to actually research it. Let's see how far is it. Oh, over there, iron mine. Okay, so I'm going to have to do this one, then this one, then that one. So it's going to cost me like 550 credits or thereabout to get over there 
Okay, more plastic. Okay, you see there now I got the full 400 plastic. But the previous time I didn't get the full 400 plastic, which really pisses me off. Like, why? Why? You know, why didn't I get the full 400 plastic? If it was because I didn't have the storage, then that's a stupid argument because the developers should then uh, put the plastic down somewhere. You know, if your storage house is full and you receive a f uh, 400 uh, plastic shipment, the excess plastic that can't fit into your um, thing should be put somewhere. You know, they can't just fucking send the the um rest of the resources to the shadow realm or something like that you know they need to um obviously uh allow you to put it somewhere or put it somewhere for your for or for you you know on your on your behalf automatically but just sending it to the shadow realm um because you didn't have the um uh, the space for it, that's really bad, you know, that's really unacceptable. Now, all of these now need drones. I don't have enough drones. The bloody drone factory is so expensive. I need tools. I wonder when am I gonna be able to get tools. Okay, trade port allows us to build a facility that maintains submarine vessels. enables us to apply liberal immigration policies increasing the newcomer rate by 20 percent that's really nice okay so these green ones the highlighted green ones are policies now i understand uh, enables drone networking to assist in digital banking services this results in a weekly income of 0.5 per credit per drone so if I have 20 drones, that means a weekly income of 10 credits. Uh, that's not bad. That will actually pay itself off. This 190 credits will actually pay itself off um, within 19 weeks. So that's definitely worth getting. Okay, so now we can build and mine finally. Even though it doesn't even help that I build it because I don't have enough drones. I first need to solve my drone issue. So, uh, like, literally, I shouldn't build any more buildings until my drone issue is solved. Because otherwise I'm just going to compact my drone issue even further. I just need to maintain all of my stuff. Okay, my thing is done, so we will enact that one. That will get us a bit more uh, credits. Our income is now 3,600. Just a moment ago, it was only about 2,200. So we have already almost doubled our income, which is obviously nice. We also need to have a look at our food. So we have this place generating two types of food, and then we have... This place generating fish and this place generating shark meat. Um, okay, more more people. That's fine. Bring them, bring them on. I have more than enough uh, uh, place in my uh, uh, hub over here. Oh, and you can actually upgrade the tier of the. Uh, the houses as well but it costs iron well i do have a lot of iron now
Yeah, let's put the insulation on all of them. Okay, that's fine. What's that? Goods. Okay, so I need goods apparently. Okay, but I need to sort out this bloody drone problem. So let's build another drone factory. Uh, the drone factory needs to be connected as well. To uh, pipeline, so we're going to have to connect it. And there we go. Once you have a trade port, you can freely trade goods with other colonies when you make... Okay, I couldn't even read finished. Our money is steadily going up. That's good. This place is now going to take... Credits, which I have enough of. Plastics, which I have enough of. And electricity, which I have enough of. So that's fine. I just need to make sure that all of my places have good upgrades. Because upgrades can really uh, reduce the cost of um, running your city by quite a lot. Like this upkeep um, upgrade really helps a lot. And 20% efficiency is quite a lot on uh, a lot of stuff. Wow, do I actually have enough drones now? Holy crap. I actually have enough drones. There, there we go. Now I have two places making drones. So now we will get two drones every 60 days. So we should relatively soon... Um, no longer have to worry about drones, fortunately. I do need a lot of sponges, so let's go ahead and do all of these upgrades. Sponges are used for a lot of stuff. Pipeline not working. Okay, where's the pipeline not working? Pipelines can uh, break down. Where the hell is the pipeline not working? Over there. Okay, and then you just repair it. Yeah, the tutorial explained that uh, pipelines can break down sometimes. Okay, so this ga gatherer's place I've now upgraded quite a bit. Uh, do I have another gatherer's place somewhere? Maybe I should build another gatherer's place.
And we can go ahead and build another gatherer's place, I think. Actually, it's only useful for food and stuff like that. So maybe... But this place is doing sea cucumbers. Yes, it is. So yeah, I should definitely build another one down here somewhere. Does it need to be connected to a pipeline? Yes. Um, oh yeah, and I have a new place over here, trade ports. Trade orders have to be issued manually. Well, I'm not really interested in manual trading, to be honest. Um, I'll just keep myself to myself, to be honest. Grants the grants us the ability to construct construct a small sacral building. This that satisfies the residents' spiritual needs. Okay, I'm not too interested in that, to be honest. Tool factory. Ah, tools. I need tools. Definitely allows us to construct small artistic structures. Allows founding of corporate headquarters that aid our econo economy. Well, that might be good. Let's go ahead and do that one. I'm very poor right now, but let's go ahead and do it. If it's going to help the economy, why not? I would have liked it if, if they provided a little bit more information, you know. Actually show the statistics or the details of the building you know not just say oh, it's going to help our economy tell me what the building is actually going to do you know that's something that the developers can really improve upon but yeah now we are finally getting into the positive drones so that's good okay let's see where is that building You said it's a trade company. Corporate headquarters. So is it some, something we need to build? Because I don't see any new buildings. So where... Where is the corporate headquarters thing that you're talking about? Like I don't see it anywhere. And it literally says allows founding of corporate headquarters that aid our economy. Trade company. Okay, so I would assume that that is a building that we can build. But I'm not seeing a trade company anywhere there's a trade port but that's the previous building that i researched so i'm not seeing a trade company anywhere Unless you can build it up here. Can you build it up here? 
Ah, oh, that's maybe the... Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, well, it would have been nice if they actually told me where you can build the building, but okay. Um, an office contributing to the commercial and economical activities of the colony set up by sell thresholds and the office will automatically take care of the trading for you. Okay, so that is what I would, uh, would have wanted to know when I actually built the building, but okay. Okay, can I build it over here? It's really tight in here. That's what she said. So, um, let's see. Let me build one more over here, maybe. Like that. And then see if I can fit this in here. That's what she said. No, I can't fit it in. That's what she said. So we have to basically put it here because I don't have the bigger one yet. I don't have the dome level 2 yet. So, um, yeah, it's going to be difficult. Um, do I have more space on this side, I wonder? So it looks like that. No, I don't have more space. It it has equal amount of space on all sides, I believe. Yes. So we're just going to have to build it, to be honest. Um, just like that. And then we can build a clothes shop. A commercial building that produces and sells basic goods. Well... Um, it's gonna keep them happy, so, uh, I guess, uh, I guess we have to keep them happy. That's what the men said. Okay, so, it just fits in, that's what she said. So, uh, that's fine, we're basically, we basically used up all of the space here. And, yeah, we can't put it there. Yeah, I'm going to have to fit in something smaller over here, perhaps. But yeah, this is pretty much the maximum that I can uh, utilize for this entire place. That's fine. Uh, we will build more uh, domes uh, pretty soon, but right now I don't really have an issue. I have more than enough houses. I have six houses currently that are empty, so... Uh, ah, here's mo two more residents. Speak of the devil. Now I only have four uh, houses that are empty. So perhaps we should relatively soon think about building um, more houses. I still have an issue with the fact that my drones have to come out from here all the way over here to build something. So eventually, if you're like fucking building over here then you're going to have some real issues with the distance that your drones need to travel, you know? So, I definitely would like to... Uh, wow, that looks cool. I definitely would like to uh, do something about that. Okay, so stock low, okay? So, we need to build... Okay, well, we can build that, I guess. Or do we want to build another depot? The depot costs that much uh, as the the, the 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 upgrade in anyway. So, I mean, why would you want to build a depot? Uh, why would you want to upgrade a depot when literally the upgrade costs as much as the depot itself? So, let's just build another depot. We can build one there and then we can build one on this side as well.
better in my opinion to just build a depot instead of doing this upgrade which costs 40 credits 20 plastic and 10 iron the actual depot itself costs 50 credits 20 plastic and 10 iron so literally the upgrade for the depot costs almost exactly the same as an entirely new depot so I, I don't know why you would want to upgrade the depot when you can just build another one and then it's more efficient then your uh, city has an additional location to drop off the um the goods in addition to the fact that uh, an additional depot increases your storage capacity as well so those three new depots should do the thing or two new two new depots yeah two new depots I also want to build another gatherer's place, maybe here on the left side of the map, because I have one over there, and then one over here, and then I want to build one, like, maybe over here somewhere. I'm just waiting. Oh, pipeline is leaking. That's not good. Good stuff. Uh, I also want to... What did I want to do? Fuck, I just thought of it now that when the pipeline broke, it completely broke my train of thought. There's something else that I wanted to do. Oh wait, I already built a depot over here. Oh yeah, I wanted to build a gatherer's place over there. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, does it need to be connected? No, it doesn't need to be connected. Reduce medicine. Okay, well, we need to research that and researching costs money. Well, this re reduces the consumption of all food, basically, by 10%, so that's pretty good. It's a global effect, so I do like that. Construct a street lamp. Once again, what's the use of a street lamp? Like, don't just say that it allows the ability to construct a street lamp. Tell me, what does a street lamp do? Okay, tools factory will be nice. We should definitely get a tools factory. I also want a way to increase my money. Provide a weekly income of plus one per engineer. Okay, how many engineers do we have? Nine. Okay, that's quite good. It's not amazing, but it's quite good. So now I can build a tool factory. Ah, oh, two more people. That's nice. Okay, but now 
I'm pretty close to having to build more houses. Or I can just upgrade. I guess I can upgrade. Okay, so do I need to do anything with you? Oh, okay. Um, what, what do you want? Oh, okay, so I can sell stuff. Okay, well, let's sell plastic, because I'm really producing a lot of plastic now. Quantity. Price. Fee. Target. Um, let's make it target 600 um, and then um, how do we increase the price how do you increase the price Like, they don't allow me to increase the price. So what if I want to charge four credits or five credits per plastic? They don't even allow you to do that. So that sucks. Batteries. Okay, well, I... I holy shit, I actually need a lot of batteries. I definitely need to do something about my batteries. Okay, well, that's fine. We can sell plastics. That's the only resource right now that I really have an excess of. Even though I would have liked to be able to... Um, uh, negotiate, at least, you know. Not allowing me to negotiate at all is a little bit ridiculous. Okay, so all of my houses... Okay, no, not all of them are level 2 yet. Okay, there we go. Now all of them are level 2. Okay, so now... It doesn't actually show me the capacity. So one house can take five residents. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 11. So I have capacity for 55 residents. And currently I'm at... Um, 13. So, yeah, I, I have more than enough capacity right now. Um, I want to build the tool place. If I can find it. tool factory there we go so it consumes credits plastic iron and fuel i do have enough fuel and iron uh, that's going to be rough so i'm going to have to build mines first before building the tool factory so let's go ahead and build mines that takes fuel i can build two of them so, um, we can build it right here. Um, this is a uh, ore area. Yeah, that's fine. Right here shouldn't be an issue. I want to build two of them. Okay, that one will have a reduced efficiency there, so definitely not going to build it there. Let's build it over here. Uh, 
and then we need to connect the pipeline and then we need to just make sure my fuel yeah my fuel is gonna be like plus 10 basically which is pretty low but it shouldn't be a huge issue then I need more batteries where's my battery place here Yeah, as soon as we get tools, we can upgrade all of this, which will yield pretty massive uh, improvements. Yeah, we can do that. Because we really need batteries. Okay, I, I can research something else now, but my money is a little bit low, so I'm just going to wait, wait right now. Yeah, there's many buildings right now that need to be finished. And then after I've gotten a couple hundred iron, then I want to build the tools factory. Um, because like I said, with a tools factory, I'm going to be able to drastically improve my, um, my efficiency of my entire place. Okay, all of these need to be connected to pipelines. that should solve my power issues for a while okay the first mine is up and running second mine is up and running If I look at all of the stuff that we can actually do eventually, like obviously, if you look at the research thing, we are now maybe 15 or 20 percent through the research thing. So we obviously we, are, we still have a huge amount of research to do. But if you also look at all, all of the buildings that I haven't even accessed yet, like look at all of those production buildings more food buildings for different types of food uh security which i haven't e even gotten a clue what we are gonna have to defend against you know i haven't even considered uh offensiveness or uh defensiveness in the game yet i i seriously um, don't know what this would be used for you know it says a small security office that protects our citizens from natural predator threats so um, apparently there's gonna be quote unquote natural predator threats uh, countering potential pirate threats oh so there's even pirates in the game that's interesting 
and then um, blah 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 wider defense radius so yeah you're gonna have to defend against natural predators and pirates uh, obviously right now i i haven't gotten any of those issues but um it's certainly gonna become an issue eventually apparently so it's really nice to know that there's still a lot to unlock in the game i don't like uh, these types of games where in the first two or three hours you've already maxed out basically everything in your village or in your settlement you know like i i like to know that uh there's a lot ahead for me still. You're going to be playing this game seemingly for 10 hours and then probably still not have uh, unlocked all of the uh, different uh, buildings and stuff like that. And let's just upgrade these uh, power producers over here. Fortunately, now we have a lot of... Uh, uh, iron so we can basically go balls to the wall with the uh, iron uh, upgrades previously iron was an issue uh, because we literally could only get it from mining from from harvesting it from the surface areas and that's obviously limited you know it's a, a finite amount that you um, have um, on the surface but uh, now, fortunately, we can uh, get a basically unlimited amount. I do, don't like this um, pipeline breaking down mechanic. Um, I don't like that. It, it doesn't add anything to the game except irritation. Like, that's seriously um, all it really adds to the game. It just serves to irritate you. Okay, so I, we have a f good amount of uh, iron income now. I think we can build that uh, tool place now. Plastic iron fuel. Um, actually, my fuel is a little bit low, so let's first take care of the fuel issues there we go that should fix my fuel i also need to keep an eye on my oxygenator uh, this one over here we probably need to build another oxygen generator that simply takes um uh electricity so it's not a big deal. OK, 
Okay, that should now be fine. That gives us enough fuel and enough electricity. So now we can build the tool place. Tool places should be fine for now. Okay, batteries. Did I build a battery place? Didn't I build another battery place? I wish you could do like a search for, for battery places. I mean, I think you can go year and then year okay battery factory drone so okay so i only have one battery place right now so yeah i should probably build another one battery factory it takes plastic and electricity that's fine it's a really big place Now that we are getting tools, we can uh, start upgrading a little bit. Another bloody pipe broke. And we can do production boosts on all of these with the tools that we now have. Also now have a lot of drones, 36.
I can't do any upgrades on this place. And it's weird, you can only put on one drone in this area, this place, and it's seemingly constantly doing seaweed. It's never doing the sea cucumber. Like, what's the use then? I mean, sure, I could, t I could tell it to do the sea cucumber. But, like, I wanted to do both of them at the same time. Because now, it either requires me to constantly come back here and switch the productions. Uh, or, it requires me to build an entire new thing that only does sea cucumber. You know, like... I would have just liked it if it either switched between them automatically or you could set it to switch between them automatically or it uh, you could set it so that it does 50% cucumber 50% um, of the other stuff you know something like that okay we now have plenty of resources to basically waste so um, we can pretty much do this upgrade on all of them, but I will build more depots, certainly. money is looking really bad holy schmoly it's all of these bloody upgrades that i'm doing like this upgrade the single upgrade costs 100 credits like it's a little bit ridiculous upgrades are really expensive that's really the only thing that i'm struggling with still like all of my other stuff crude oil fuel electricity oxygen i have so much food i don't know what the fuck to do with it my batteries is fine i have too many sponges like everything is fine but credits credits are an issue in this game and you really can't do anything about it you just have to wait for additional people to join your city you know you can't do anything about it like, I'm gonna have to sell stone or something like that, I don't know. Uh, we can maybe sell iron or something like that or even sponges i mean i have too many sponges what's the cost of sponges 1.5 so that's dramatically less um what do i have a lot of muscles i have a lot of muscles Okay, that's one. That's not exactly what I would call very lucrative work. Sea cucumber. Okay, well, that's actually not bad. Two for a sea cucumber. That's not bad. Let's make it uh, 600 as well, I think. It's not bad we can make some money with that i would have liked it if it 
showed you the price of the stuff uh, literally right here instead of you having to click on it in order to see the price batteries can i sell batteries Ooh, batteries also sell for two um but batteries are a little bit more um sought after for me right now what do you actually need well plastic and electricity but i mean what's the use of taking the plastic and oh okay now wait i see that you actually create more batteries out of the plastic Okay, so selling plastic actually then isn't so smart because um, it's much more efficient to uh, sell batteries instead. So let's do that. We sell batteries until we reach 600. Because you can actually turn uh, 60 plastic, is it? 50 plastic into 150 batteries so you can uh, actually make a fair bit of money with batteries by turning them into uh, batteries from, from plastic We have 163 tools. Our iron is getting a little bit low. But maybe we have to uh, get a couple more iron places going. we can do all of these upgrades basically oh that one is a little bit expensive 20 tools and yeah, that's a little bit expensive 10 tools i don't have a problem with spending but uh, 20 tools is a little bit rough okay there we go now we shouldn't have problems with iron for a while my plastic is absolutely getting destroyed um so we need plastics definitely plastics come from sponges and fuel probably need like four plastic places because really plastic is really important
Three. Uh, yes, three should be fine. Let's make it four. Why not? Go balls to the wall with plastic. Oh shit, I don't even have enough, enough plastic to build any more uh, pipelines. That's an issue. Uh, blah 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 use them for food utilize their evolutionary adjustment to our advantage make them produce plastic um, so I have a lot of sea snails I don't have a lot of plastic so I mean I guess we are gonna take no, let's not be inefficient. Let's take the sea snails. I don't want to be inefficient. And we have so little plastic right now. Come on, I'm just waiting for plastic. There we go. Then we can upgrade all of them to stage two, basically. then our plastic issues should be a thing of the past. You can see we have a stupid amount of food. We have mussels, we have sea cucumbers, we have sea snails, and we have seaweed. So four different types of food. You can see you get tier two food types as well, and then tier three food types as well. So you eventually get some uh, high, high level food. There we go. Now I just need to make sure that my sponge uh, reduction keeps up with the new uh, plastic factories. Because building four new plastic factories is definitely going to have an impact on my sponges. So... I need to have a look uh, at my sponge collectors. I only have two sponge collectors right now. So obviously that is probably not enough. Uh, it was enough, but now that I have so many um, uh, plastic places, I definitely think it's not going to be enough anymore.
Do these need to be con connected? Oh no, they don't need to be connected. That's actually interesting. I thought they might have to be connected, but apparently not. That actually makes placing them much easier than what I thought. Let's quickly have a look here. I think there was an upgrade with sponges or something like that. No, I didn't want to do that for fuck's sake. You can't cancel. Like, I'm right-clicking, left-clicking. You can't cancel an upgrade, so that's bad. They really need to allow you to cancel an upgrade if you made a mistake. We might as well do this one as well. Then we've done all of the upgrades in this beginning section. I just want to do this one first because it will increase the global production rate by 10% of all food, basically. Which is obviously a large improvement. And then uh, we can do more sponge collectors. we go now we have all of the beginning re stuff researched all the way up to year now i just want to have a look what these researchers do we need this one for religion and then this will also increase our uh, immigration as well which will be pretty good 20 percent more people coming to the city I need medicine but I don't believe I can create it yet I probably need to uh, unlock it still is these uh, upgrades really cost too much in my opinion I mean this one is 90 credits this one is 80 credits so like it's hundreds of credits just to upgrade a single building and as we've seen already credits are like not plentiful like honestly you if you you're gonna do all of the research uh, or, or all of the upgrades on all of your locations look at this one 120 credits only that's if you're gonna do um the research on all of them or the upgrades on all of them you're not gonna have enough money like never it seriously costs too much to do the upgrades on all of the buildings on these battery factories they don't cost a huge amount Okay, now we've once again run, ran out of drones. So I need to wait for my uh, uh, drone factories to create more drones. Holy crap, that's expensive. Yeah, perhaps I should build another two drone factories maybe. Because I do have a lot of um, plastic now. Plastic is really not an issue anymore.
can build one there. Build one there. Two more should be fine. That literally doubles our drone uh, production. Because every now and then you do get a drone uh, or a couple of drones delivered from the headquarters but um, clearly that is not enough. The game looks so much better without this filter thing on but the filter thing is so useful because it shows you exactly the grid of uh, where you're building and all of that kind of stuff you know. So it is really useful. I really like my base so far. Drone acquisition. New HQ, blah, blah, blah. They issued a request that we provide some of our drones in compensation for batteries, blah, blah, blah. Um... Okay, well, I don't want to deny the request. Um, because that might, I don't know, create issues or something. So let's send just a little bit, I guess. Um, it's not the end of the world, even though we do have a drone sort shortage currently. Um, but I mean, what, what can you do, you know? I don't want to deny the request because that might end up uh, biting me in the ass later. It'll take us about... I don't know how long it takes to make a drone actually. Where's my other drone place? We can time it. What's the time right now? Let me have a look here. So it takes 51 days. Let me put a timer here on my phone so that we can see what time it takes to create a uh, drone. Okay, so there it has started. And we will see how long it actually takes to create a drone. Just so that we can get an idea of um, how long it takes. Um, but yeah, currently I have no space in stock. How the hell don't I have any space? Okay, well that's a big indication that we need to build more depots. We don't have any space remaining. That's ridiculous. That should be fine. Three more will almost double our um, stuff. Okay, it was on this one that we were timing it. So let's see. It's already been two minutes. And this one is upgraded as well. It's got level 2 optimization and level 2 production boost. There we go. So 
uh, that was 2 minutes and 15 seconds that it takes uh, in game and that is on 8 times speed so if you play the game at normal speed it would take you uh, 17, 18, 19 minutes to make a single drone because on 8 times it takes 2 minutes 15 seconds so it takes quite a long time to make a drone so that's why it's probably best to keep the game on 3 times speed you know because uh, yeah it's a little bit rough to, to wait 18 minutes for a single drone you know and I have 53 of them right now and I don't really have enough of them um, okay, so we have enough money now. Our money has really improved a lot. Our money generation. Uh, how much is it now? 6,000. Okay, previously it was ar around 4,200. So, clearly we did something correctly. In the residential income. Okay, so that's where the majority of our money is coming from. So, uh, let's do a couple of upgrades. Then I will... Uh, activate this um, directive I guess I can say okay we go over here and we activate that one that will give us 30% increase 30% didn't it say 20% yeah, it says 20% over here, but apparently it's 30% in reality. Well, that's good. More people will be good. I don't mind the fact that it's 30% uh, instead of 20%. Okay, let's go for the medium dome. Then we can build a medium dome uh, with actually a little bit of more space. Uh, to uh, build a secondary dome and then we can build the energy thing uh, like I said we have more than enough money now so um, we can pretty much go crazy with the uh, upgrades right now oh I also want to do this one I actually want to do this one before that one yeah let's do this one this one then this one this will give us uh, how much more? 11 more money per week. Uh, environment unsatisfactory. Okay, well, I can do something about that. Um, let's see. I do have some environmental stuff here. Okay, we can build the shrine thing for you guys. One, I don't know, is one enough? I'm assuming one is enough. A uh, small statue. Beautification. A good arrangement yields maximum environmental points. Okay, so what's the difference? A good arrangement yields maximum environmental points. Okay, I don't quite understand. Plus 10. plus 16 okay this one takes four blocks this one also takes four blocks um but this one is dramatically more expensive actually but since we are quite limited on space i guess you have to pay that extra premium um of money for the, the the space requirement you know because you do not have a lot of space in here 
I actually would like stuff that's three three in space. But that one is two by two, two by two, four by four, eight by eight, two by two, two by two, two six by six, four, four, six, two, 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 eight, two, four, two six so nothing is three by three so you're never gonna get anything three by three unfortunately so you just have to make a deal with either two by two or um four by four or anything like that Okay, so I understand they they have a neg negative effect on each other. Okay, I I understand that. I think it's a little bit stupid, but I I can understand that. That should be fine. Uh, oh, pipeline is leaking. That's not good. Okay, and we want to do research. Medium dome. Okay, so now they should be happier. So you, environment is one thing to... Um, consider uh, in those domes as well you can't just um, like build uh, the the rational I guess I can say stuff you also need to build and spend a bit of space on um, environmental stuff you know it can't just be all business no play you need to uh, give them an a, a, a environment as well. And now we can bolt the medium dome. Okay, let's have a look. Medium dome. Only. Okay, so that one... Can I build it here? No, so this one is completely in the way, so I need to build it in a place where it doesn't bump into the other one. Maybe we can build it over here somewhere? Yeah, that's pretty much the best place where I can build it to be honest so this one is four times as big as the other one that is uh, insane I was su expecting something that like honestly if you look at the the other one I'll show you guys what I mean in just a second so if you look at this one, like, like this one is this size. So I was expecting one that is maybe like up to here, you know, like this, you know, like maybe 50% bigger, maybe, you know, not fucking something like this. That is literally 400% bigger, you know. The areas are still the same as the other one, but there's four of them, which is insane. Yeah, let's take sea snails. I'm happy with sea snails. Okay, so now we can um, really go pretty crazy with the building. 
pet feeders will be nice. We now have a pretty good uh, amount of income and all of that. We don't really need to worry about um, the uh, money so much anymore. We've got a pretty good thing going now. Um, I like how it looks like. You really get the idea that they're like living above the sea floor and all of that. And I think that the large uh, one, obviously this is the medium one. The large one will be even bigger. Like the large one is going to be large, you know, it's going to be a big boy. Um, so what do we want to build in here right now? I mean, I we could build more houses but like to be honest i don't need more houses like um i already have like 55 um stuff you know i i don't need i have 55 rooms basically bloody pipeline is leaking honestly if i could change one thing about the game the this pipeline mechanic is so stupid like Seriously, I really think they should remove that because it's just an irritation. It's nothing else. It's literally just an irritation. How much does iron sell for? Okay, that also sells for two. I guess we can uh, sell some of that as well for a little bit of extra income. And then um, let's have a look. This looks nice. Like this, this look right here. It looks cool. Like, look at that. Doesn't that look cool? I wish you could remove the bubbles. The bubbles are a little bit irritating. Let's see. Maybe you can remove the bubbles. Um. Double quantity. Thank you very much. Low will be fine, I think. Uh, that's much better. Actually, we can maybe remove the bubbles completely. Because, I mean, the bubbles are really... Ah, oh, damn, you can't remove the bubbles completely. I would have liked if you could remove the bubbles completely. Um, because, really, the bubbles are uh, a little bit uh, irritating, in my opinion. But that looks cool. Like the city in the distance, you know, like that. Okay, let's build another um, farm, because clearly this farm is only um, doing... Uh, oh wait, now it's doing sea cucumber. So it does switch between them, apparently. Because it didn't look like it for the longest time. It didn't look like it's actually switching. But okay, if it's actually switching, then I guess there's no issue. Um, yeah, I want to place another one here somewhere. Like that, maybe. Uh, what size... Yeah, that's not too bad, even though I'm I'm gonna not have enough space over here. So I should probably do something like that. No, that also doesn't leave enough space. That's fine. You can do another one. Okay, 
Okay, did... Okay, so the game just crashed, or at least the game didn't crash. I think it might have been my computer that crashed because uh, my OBS crashed as well. But anyway, um, we will just continue. Fortunately, the autosave system was quite good. I either got very lucky or the autosave system is just exceptionally good. Because literally year, like I didn't even lose 20 seconds of my game. This is literally where the game continued. So, um, yeah, the, the, the autosave system is either very good or I got very lucky. And the game simply saved at a very, very good time in order for me to not lose a lot of progress, you know? Uh, we want to connect to that. We don't need to actually connect the farms. Yeah, we don't actually need to connect the farms. That's actually nice. I like the fact that we don't need to connect the farms. So this one we will also uh, switch between... Uh, well, we can just do seaweed all the way. And then this one can just do sea cucumbers all the way. I don't see why not. Uh, I would have liked to be able to um give these as well some um upgrades you know some different upgrades but um yeah you you, you can't uh, you can't give them upgrades apparently uh yeah production boost we can pretty much go also wall 69 nice we have a lot of drones now. Okay, let's see research. I don't know what this street lamp will do. I guess it will be like a decorative thing as well you know for the uh uh what do you call it um the citizens uh, we definitely need to build goods more goods because um they are really having an issue with the amount of goods that they have right now i don't have enough space to build there so uh, I'm not sure if we build good goods places over here, will it transfer over to the other side? I really don't know. I guess we are going to find out. research uh, another thing in addition to the fact that um i don't like the the pipes breaking you know i really don't like this pipes breaking mechanic it's just needless busy work in my opinion designed to irritate the player but um another thing that i really don't like is the fact that um you can't queue research like really you should be able to queue the research because now you have to open this bloody thing every whatever minute or whatever and then select the next one um and it's just really inefficient it's it's super inefficient it would be so much better if you could simply queue all of them and yet the game doesn't allow you to do that so that's an issue. I definitely want to do that one. Expedition House unlocks the ability to build the central bases for our brave explorers. Okay, we can do that. Expeditions. I've been wondering what expeditions are because over here you can do expeditions. There's an expedition map, but I can't look at the expedition map right now. So um, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what that actually is.
And then there's also guard house over there. Shark attack danger. A few predators are nearing. There's a fair chance they might attack your people or drones. Build guard houses with pulse weapons to defend against shark attacks. Okay, so that gives me an indication that I just stepped over the line. Let's load the game. Hopefully the game didn't save literally just now. Because that would be irritating. And I think that is exactly what happened. Because I can already see what what happened now. The game developers designed the game so that as soon as you unlock the guardhouse. You see, now I want to cancel this. Literally, I want to cancel it. But I can't. Like, literally, the game does not allow you to cancel it. So now, as soon as you reach this stage, then a new stage of the game is unlocked, which unlocks uh, shark attacks. That's literally what's happening here. So I could have, if I wanted to, play the entire game. I could fill the entire map with stuff. I could build out the entire map and not suffer a single shark attack uh, as long as I did not research this. But now because I'm researching this, uh, I'm going to get shark attacked. And unfortunately, the autosave system is nice. Um, but there's not multiple saves. So that's another issue. There really, really should be multiple saves. Sometimes in the, uh, the options menu, you can customize it to... Um, have multiple saves but no as it turns out you can't you can enable or disable autosave which I don't know why you would want to do that but uh, and you can turn off prod predators but like the game's designed to have predators but I just don't like the fact that literally now just because I did that one research thing now i'm gonna get fucked by predators you know i just don't like that like um, have predators be a part of the game from the beginning or have them come in at a certain stage but don't do this don't throw predators at the player just because they've now unlocked the guard house i don't like that you see, once again, I get the notification. Sharks. So, uh, that's one thing that I don't like. You can see them coming out of the dark there. So, I have to really quickly um, build this guardhouse or else I'm screwed. Sharkies. Hopefully one guardhouse can deal with all of these bastards. And of course it's great whites, because it's not like you get another type of shark in existence. Great white sharks, as we all know, are the only types of sharks in existence on the entire planet. There are no other sharks, so of course it's great white sharks. Damn, they're really closing on, on in on my base. I don't know if this research is even going to be done. Look at that. They're fucking beaming for my uh, base. Like, the guardhouse is never going to be done in time. Not in a billion years. So what? how, how am I going to defend against it? If they destroy my drones, I'm not going to be happy. 
like look at that the, the Gardas research is not even 25% done and I literally started it as soon as uh, the clinic research was done by the way we need to build a clinic and we can build pet feeders as well so I'm just going to ignore the sharks and uh, build the pet feeders and stuff like that okay clinic so you have to build that inside holy shit that's big you have to build that inside this place okay street lamp okay so that's what the street lamp is for because i was wondering uh, but that don't we have pet feeders or is that an upgrade oh yes it's an upgrade okay uh sure let's let's build that uh, unfortunately you can't select all of the houses and um build it on all of them uh, it would have been nice but um they don't allow you to do that so you have to select each one individually which is a little bit irritating but what can you do Okay, now I'm out of workers again. We can increase the happiness of this place even more, but I don't think it's necessary. I think the happiness is plenty. I don't know how you see... Oh, there we go. Environmental points. So, yeah, they're, they're happy. And then I should probably build some clinics over here. So these places are now um, building um, goods for my other place as well. So it seems that you don't need to build um, these places literally inside here in order to pro provide these people with resources. You can also build it um, basically anywhere. Holy shit, this is a big building. Okay, those fish are having epileptic attacks. Uh, let's build the two clinics because the clinics are gonna uh, produce medicine. So obviously medicine is uh, quite necessary. So we can build two of them. Unfortunately, it can't fit in here. Another clothes shop would have been nice in there. I can put a single house in here. We can maybe do that, but still, it's not very efficient use of the uh, the area, to be honest. Okay, where's the sharkies? Okay, so the sharkies are drifting around here. M massively ominously like <laughs> they're literally making a circle of death the bastards you can see their uh, shadows and all of that i would like to go up like i want to zoom in on them but the game doesn't allow you to really zoom in on them like you you can go up or down but you can't like on this setting the most zoomed in setting i would like to be able to go up you know upwards but um yeah you you can't you can't do that you can check them out from the top if you want to but that's really it basically so perhaps the game developers were even more sneaky and they will put the sharks uh, over there until you've researched um, the um, guardhouse. That would be really, really sneaky. 
if they did that. Okay, they're turning. Oh. Oh. That's not good. Can we please start playing the... Uh, uh, Jaws music? I would play the Jaws music right now, but um, I don't want to get copyright striked. They said they're bug buggering off for some reason. And I wonder if the uh, sharks always come from the same area. Probably not. They're probably going to come from multiple areas. Which is uh, disconcerting. Because I don't know if they come and you get a warning that they're going to come. And you try to build a, a guardhouse if the guardhouse will be finished in time, you know. I don't know if that uh, will be possible. Okay, research complete. So the guardhouse is now complete. Let's build the expedition house. And let's just check out the... Uh, the guardhouse just to see what the range is and all of that kind of stuff you know okay that's um that's a pretty big range that's certainly bigger than what i expected i did not expect the uh um range to be so big but holy crap it costs a hundred credits um upkeep which is a lot like that's not a small amount of money oh, now i've got the bloody hiccups <laughs> oh go away hiccups um so yeah hey six thousand seven hundred is our income our income is going up we have to stonks our income so that we uh, can do all of the upgrades that we want. Um, no idle workers yeah, so we still don't have enough drones. Or is drone is workers different? These workers are not tied to a specific workplace, but they do work around your colony. Uh, blah blah blah. Increase your colony population. Yeah. Okay. Well um they they have to do that they have to uh kissy kissy smoochy smoochy with each other a little bit to increase the uh um population i can't do that for them i would if i could but um that's up to them to do that I now have enough money to do all of these different upgrades. I do need more depots. Um, I don't like the fact that depots so far are literally the only way to increase your storage. Um, allows resource fill syndication over active workers resulting in their voluntary 10% decrease in salaries. Okay, well, 10% more money? Who wouldn't... Uh, who wouldn't want that? It's literally a 10% increase in our income. I hope that the game warns me beforehand about a shark attack like it did previously. Because if sharks are just going to come out of fucking nowhere and attack me, I'm not going to be happy. So now we have goods, we have medicine... All of that good stuff.
I'm hearing something in the distance. I don't know. It sounds like a uh, something little, little uh, big, you know, like a whale or something like that. I don't know if the game has whales. Hey, there are some dugongs or something like that. Hey, there's some really big hammerhead sharks. How are the hammerhead sharks bigger than the uh, great white sharks? Look at that, they're massive. Well, my, my base is relatively close to the edge over here. So perhaps we should build a guardhouse like over here or something like that. Even though it's quite far away. I, we need to produce more basic goods, but I, I don't have the research for it right now, obviously. Rescue teams, sure, we can do that. And then I also want to... Uh, where's that other thing? Oh, we don't have enough influence. Okay. So this one increases our incoming immigrants. Credits per drone. Okay, so I get 40 credits. Um, weekly. Okay, 40 credits weekly. Let me quickly do some calculations here. Okay, so 40 credits per week. There's 52 weeks in a year. So 40 credits. That's... Wow, that's 2,000 credits per uh, year. So literally our yearly income is... Uh, 6,800 and 2,000 of that is simply because of this credits per drone thing that's crazy uh, introduces blah 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 increasing our weekly finances by one credit per house that's not a lot um, because we currently have uh seven houses that are actually full you know so seven times 52 that's 364 uh credits per year so that's not a lot at all and then uh, the immigrants plus 30 i think that's very good uh, increasing the maximum influence by researching subsurface base upgrades. So I think we can remove the property tax. And then um, put in... What's the other one? Um, what, what was it? Um, okay, well, even though we have it researched... Yeah, you see, this is, this is the one. We did require two influence for that one. So we're not going to be able to do that right now, unfortunately. We need to research the next level of subsurface base, which is over there. So it's two more researchers. Then we will have eight influence. Then we will be able to uh, do that. Then we will be able to get that directive activated because right now it's simply not feasible to um, have that one activated um, I want to build another mine over here And then I want to build a stockyard, depot, whatever you want to call it over here.
okay and then um oh research you see this is again the fucking thing um you literally have to remember to do the research each and every time it does give you a little um uh avoid giving the order fixing leak bugs manually research and build a maintenance depot okay um i uh um you you have to remember to put the research each and every bloody time and it's just irritating like seriously so our tools are looking fantastic plastic fantastic uh iron good stone uh, i don't have a stone mine yet but that's fine we don't use stone sponges are fantastic batteries are fantastic um everything is looking exceptional uh we need more fuel definitely uh so fuel we need a little bit more of we can either spend the money on our fuel um stuff um to increase the production why can't i get this oh we, i need that one as well okay solar plant allows us to build sophisticated facilities that can collect solar energy even on the sea bottom okay that's interesting so it's a new energy thing even though right now i'm pretty good with energy i don't really have any energy issues um okay let's see furniture factory okay that's interesting i guess we can build that because our people do need um furniture to stay happy um okay i want um our crude is looking very good but our fuel refinery we need fuel refineries so our crude is looking good Okay, well let's think about this logically let's build oil platforms even though if, if we don't really need the oil we are going to kind of need it somewhere down the line fine and then we can build fuel refineries over here shark attack oh shit okay well that's very close you guys needed to warn me a little bit earlier would have been really nice okay so um i don't know let's put it here i guess that's not too bad i guess yeah that's fine right like that yeah that's fine and I give this one priority yes construction priority that's what I want you need to hurry your asses because uh, the game kind of slipped on uh, notifying me about this attack Come on, 
priority. Priority number uno. Come on, build this fucking thing. Build this fucking thing. I don't see anyone working on it yet. There we go. One dude. More people. It's literally the construction priority. Come on, build the bloody thing. Build it. Build it. Underlay. Underlay. The sharks are... Okay, well, they're circling right now. It seems they like to circle. They're doing a voodoo dance for uh, empowerment during the oncoming fight. Okay, what do you need? No security officer in building. Well, fucking go. Okay, well, they're running away. Okay. That's fine. If they're running away, that's fine. I don't care about that. Shark attack danger, no idle worker. Well, I need fucking workers. Bring workers to me. Because this is ridiculous. Okay, we need to connect all of this. And then we upgrade all of these. Bloody hell, these things are expensive. I literally just blew like almost 2,000 credits on those uh, upgrades. Okay, research complete. Now we can do the subsurface base. We can also do the solar plant. Even though, like I said, my, my electricity is pretty much fine. Okay, so it generates, holy shit, 30 tools upkeep. That's an insane upkeep for 240 electricity. So these ones generate a third of that and it takes 40 credits per year. 30 tools versus 40. The, well, basically 120 credits. So 120 credits versus um, 30 tools. I'm not too sure which one I would rather want, to be honest. Okay, so we have the subsurface base. Allows us to supply an engineering surtax edict that increases the taxes on engineers by 10%. That's not a whole lot. Quarry, quartz mine. We definitely need either of those. Let's go for the uh, quartz mine. Why can't I do this one? Oh, I need to do that one first. Allows construction of advanced agricultural fields that produce scallops and mussels. Well, that'll be nice. Scallops and mussels for my people. I should probably also build a... Uh, what's this thing? Oh, maintenance depot. Um, I should probably also build a guardhouse around here somewhere, you know? 
just to pre protect this entire area. So that one over there should protect that entire area. And then I should probably put one over here as well. Oh, and I can build the... Why isn't there a person in there yet? Is it because I need people? Well, what, what the hell do you want from me? I've, I've bloody... I uh, issued the immigration edict already long ago. I've I've issued it, and um, more people are just not coming. Okay, worker credit upkeep. Okay, so let's have a look. My current income is eight thousand two hundred. Okay, so what does that help? Okay, so it doesn't actually reflect the. Um, the difference and then with this one 8800 so it goes up by 600 which is quite considerable 650 yeah that's quite considerable so let's go with that okay quartz mine It just irritates me, like, the, the population in this game, really, you should be able to increase it somehow quicker, you know, because, like, I've now had the same population for the longest time. Look at that, there's not even people in here. Now there's another bloody shark attack danger. Where are they coming from? Okay, they're coming exactly from a bloody location where I can't defend, and... In any way, I don't have people to defend. I literally don't have the the guards to defend. So what the hell? Like, what does it help me? Like, I'm gonna have to uh, pull someone off of um, another place. Okay, so we don't need that one to be active. We don't need this one to be active. We do need this one to be active. So what I can do is go to the job board and say security guard must be a priority. Where's the security guard? Security officer. Okay, so I'm gonna do that as soon as that place is built. Yeah, do your circle of death, please. Yeah, do your circle of death. Wait for me until I build this place finished and they're already going home. Why does that happen? 
they they literally come and then they go home. I don't quite understand that, but okay, I guess I'm not complaining. I shouldn't complain if my base isn't torn apart by them, I guess. That's probably a good thing. Holy crap, uh, uh, the, ex the uh, upgrades are now, or the researchers are now costing 500 each. Which is a little bit crazy. Fortunately, I don't need to worry about drones anymore. My drones are really... Like, I've got too many drones almost, you know? So I can really go balls to the wall with my uh, drones. Actually, um, I, I have way too much fuel and crude. Can I sell fuel and crude? I don't believe I can sell fuel and crude. Because it's not actual goods. Yeah, it's not actual goods um, that you can sell. It's, it's income, technically. The same reason why I can't sell uh, electronics, for instance. So yeah, that sucks a little bit. Um, so that probably means... How much does this place cost to run, actually? Upkeep. Crude oil. Well, if it, if the literal only upkeep is... Ah, you see, these ones cost money. Yeah, these ones cost money. So I should turn these ones off because um, they're literally just costing me money. And as long as I have enough crude, I don't need them. So yeah, that's fine. As long as I have enough crude, it's totally fine. So this one is tier 3, tier 3, tier 2, tier 3. Okay, so I can literally do that. Then I'm right on the edge. Eight, eight barrels excess. So... That's good. Then I just run these two. That saves me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 40. So that's 240 credits that it saves me. That's a quite significant uh, saving uh, per year. I believe that 40 is per year. Yes, per year. So 240 per year. I mean, that's something, you know. You have to save each and every little penny because the bloody upgrades now are so expensive it's ridiculous um okay um no let's just send them a small amount i i mean i have a lot of drones but I can't just, like, go crazy, you know. I can't just go balls to the wall. How many idle? Okay, well, holy shit, I have 27 idle drones, so clearly I have too many drones.
but yeah currently i'm just waiting for my people to bloody have children and the children to grow up because like my population is absolutely sucking and I'm just not getting more people. I do have the immigration thing set, but like uh, I'm just not getting people. So I just don't understand. Let's build that other um, place. What oh, expedition? There we go. And the rescue center as well, actually. What does that actually do? The rescued people are considered legal immigrants as such automatically join your colony. Okay, that's cool. We can actually do that. Then it will result in uh, more people coming in, apparently. So let's go ahead and do that. I guess just one is enough. Holy shit, this is a big place. Uh, on one end of the building must be placed over the abyss, and the other on the ground, whilst the middle part placed on both ground or over the abyss. Okay, so where do we want to place it then? Probably over here to the left, since... Oh wait, over here. This will be a nice place. Okay, unfortunately this building is in the way. And this would actually be the perfect place to place it. So I'm thinking I'm, I might have to destroy this place. But that, oh, that would suck. Otherwise I can just place it over here. Now I don't, uh, the rest of the places are too far away. This would have been so perfect. I can also place it over here, I guess. It's a little bit far away, in my opinion, but... Ah, oh, damn, now it doesn't even fit in there. What bullshit. I have to place it over here, and I can't even place it over here. You see, that, that's an issue. The, the developers should really think about this. Like, you can't place it like this, you can't place it like this. So... Like, they should allow you to slightly rotate the thing, you know, instead of only have this or this option, this or this option. You know, it's not, it doesn't work in this scenario. If I place it over here, it's vulnerable to shark attacks. I could maybe place it over here. can't even do that you see it doesn't even it doesn't even work I'm clicking and it, it's not allowing it yeah this this is not a very good design I have to say like I you literally can't place it here anywhere you can't place it anywhere here I'm literally clicking 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 it's not allowing it so you can't place it anywhere here You can't place it anywhere here either. You literally cannot place it here. You will be able to place it here, obviously. You can place it here. You can place it there. You can't place it there. You might be able to place it here. Yes, you can place it there at certain points. So it's just really irritating. Like, why... Can't you place it on this in this entire fucking area here and not on this entire area here? It's just, in my opinion, bad game design. Okay, so really the, our, our only option is over here. Over here by deleting that building or over here. Those are really our only options, so... I guess we are going to go with uh, over here. Just like that. And then I just hope we don't get attacked from um, that side. 
because uh, I would not be happy. And like I said previously, I don't like the fact that you only have drones at this place. So every time your drones have to travel all the way from here over there. I mean, look at this. Look at these drones. They have to go all the way from there back to base. Look at that. Like, all the way. Like, it's just a little bit ridiculous. And obviously, like I said also, the... Um, the human system. The, the way how you get more people is also really bad. Because, like, it's now been probably close to an hour that i've had 11 adults like the 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 children simply take too long to turn into adults and uh the immigration is ridiculous like the the immigration is way too slow even though I have had the immigration 30% um, increase on for probably an hour or so. Uh, once you build the expedition house, you can start sending out an expedition. Submarines open expedition map in the top right corner. Okay, let's have a look what that is. Uh, the submarine is not operable. There is no battery power. There are no crew left to operate the submarine. Well, there's no crew left to operate the submarine because my people aren't having babies quickly enough and the babies aren't uh, becoming uh, adults quick enough. So that's why. But anyway, let's have a look at the expedition map. Uh, before your expedition can embark, you should resupply the submarine with enough crew, batteries and food via the expedition overview. Okay, food, uh, batteries and people well i have no people available in colony zero so i literally have no one why can't i do this resupply okay after the expedition returns home, it is always a good practice to empty the submarine's cargo hold. You should transfer the submarine cargo to the colony. Okay, so let's see um, what this stuff is and request for assistance. Uh, large underwater mammals are coming to this area when they feel like life is near the end the location is filled with skeletons and carcasses scientists would like to know about this phenomenon and abandoned pirate submarine seems we found an abandoned pirate submarine you never know what those guys might have hold okay so this is basically just a way to get more resources and stuff like that you know and perhaps you will get more crew like this is an, assi uh, uh, an assistance request so perhaps you will get more crew through this as well so that's one way to get more crew um but right now i can't send people out on a on a mission because um i don't have enough free people i don't even have enough free people um in order to um uh um uh, man my um guard houses you know so um yeah definitely um population is a big issue um in the game um the drones system the fact that you get the drones only from here 
is another issue they really should allow you to build more the fact that you have to go back over a year each and every bloody time in order to do research is bad you can't queue different researchers so that's obviously a really important quality of life feature that they need to do uh, the fact that pipes break um, is a stupid mechanic yeah sure you can build the maintenance depot which will repair them but look at the range like i'm gonna have to build one over a year 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 and my base isn't even big right now so it's a stupid amount of resources the the thing costs 60 credits per year there's another pipe that just broke while i'm bloody talking about it um the the thing costs 60 credits per year um for one of them so if i have to build six of them throughout my entire base you know that's 360 credits gone you know um and my base isn't even big. I mean, look how big the map still is. Like, the map is big. Re rescue mission success. Okay, I just got one survivor somehow. I think it's from this place. Is it from this place? I'm not sure. I think so. Okay, well, that's, that's cool. If that is the case, then I'm going to build more of these bloody um, rescue things. Because um, getting more people, like, that's really important. So let's, let's build more of these things. If it's constantly going to bring me uh, people, then holy schmoly. I'm going to need a lot of these. Yeah, let's build three of them. Why not? Well, let's build four of them. Why not? Balls to the wall. I'm gonna rescue the entire earth with these things. So yeah, those are the, the really glaring issues that I see right now uh, with the game. Uh, they can be fixed. Like, totally. They, they can be fixed. Um, the um, tooltips also need a little bit of fixing. Uh, not enough information is given to is given to the player uh, with the tooltips. Like, if you go into the research and you look at a lot of these things, enables us to build educational facilities. Okay what educational facilities you know like tell me what does it actually do the same with this allows us to build a warehouse okay first of all that's a spelling mistake or a grammatical error secondly tell me what is the warehouse what what does the warehouse actually do does it increase the speed of your drones does it provide you with more storage area? How much more storage area does it provide you with? How much does the building cost? What is the size of the building? Is it a 4x4, 8x8, 12x12? All of that information must be provided over a year. The fact that it's not provided is simply laziness in my opinion. You should provide the, the player with as much information as possible beforehand because these are bloody expensive upgrades you know 600 credits for a single upgrade that's that's a really expensive so um yeah they they definitely should um should add a lot of these quality of life features they can totally do that like they can totally um do all of these improvements it won't take like a huge amount of uh, time you know especially with small stuff like the tooltips it's not like gonna take 10, de 10 developers like two or three or four months to do it you know like honestly a single developer can can put in all of those tooltips and it will really improve the uh 
quality of life for the uh, players, you know? Let's build one of these. I haven't built one of these yet. Bloody hell, it's big. It takes up more space than four of those um, uh, wind turbines do. But okay, let's have a look. And build it just here. And then we can just connect it over here. There we go. That should fix our uh, electricity issue. And we also have a uh, oxygen issue apparently. Where's our oxygen? Oxygen. Let's increase the production and then we probably need another oxygen thing as well. Warehouse. We can build a warehouse. 5,000 capacity. Okay, that's considerable. That's definitely nice. That's a good amount of capacity. Uh, we can build one there. And maybe squeeze one in here. Like that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I can try to get us out of it but perhaps it's not the best idea to brush them off too much yeah sure uh, I, I understand that if you decline oh shark attack if you decline a lot of the stuff then they will they will take offense I completely understand that um, do I have enough people now for um, the shark defense from which direction are they coming Okay, I do have a thing over here, so that's fine. Uh, let's test out, maybe we can see a little bit of combat before we actually end the video. Like, I just want to, I'm clicking over there, but it's not allowing me to actually... Um, ...to actually do it. We can increase the range. Like, how do I... Like, I totally understand that there's no security officer in the building. But I want to send a person there. So I go to the jobs board and I click on security officer and it's not... Not doing anything. Now, I can obviously go here and then click there, but that also doesn't do anything. So, what if I do this? Okay, so I can do that. I can do that then. So that's how you then remove them. But honestly, they, they should allow you to put a priority up here, like a priority thing, like you can do when you're building a building. You just do that, boom, double click, and then that thing is now set as a priority. So um, they really should allow you to do that in this interface instead of having to go over here, having to remove the automatically assigned workforce thing, having to choose the person from the job that you want to remove and then having to assign them um, manually. Like it's just um, a little bit... Um, tedious to be honest let's do that yeah yeah i know you want oxygen i'm already busy busy building oxygen places right did i build oxygen places or not no i don't think i built oxygen places uh oxygen oxygen where's the oxygen Come on, where's the oxygen places? There we go. Um, so yeah, guys, I mean, um, those are the real issues that I have with the game. 
uh, it's small. It, it's honestly small issues um, that can definitely be fixed without massive expense or uh, anything like that, you know? Honestly, at the end of the day, I'm I'm happy with the game. I, I think it's a nice game. Um, it's good, you know, it's definitely good. Um, I wouldn't say it's like, for instance, comparable to something like Anno. You know, Anno is created by Ubisoft and Ubisoft has billions and billions of dollars, you know, so even comparing the game to Ubisoft is slightly unfair, but it's a city builder colony sim, so you have to compare various city builder colony sims to each other, and um, this game is not, in my opinion, as good as Anno, for instance, but like I say, you're, you're basically comparing a studio with unlimited resources to a studio who are uh, releasing their very first game. You know, this game, Aquatico, is the very first... Hey, we got another uh, successful mission. Is the very first mission from the studio. So, um... Honestly, I think it's a very good first game. It, it's an exceptionally good first game, actually. Like, honestly, there are other city builder colony sim games like this. Oh, no houses. We need to fix that very quickly. Um, that, uh, honestly, like, have more resources than the studio. And, um, oh, but look at this. Residents, one out of five... 4 out of 5, 3 out of 5, how can you say there's no no houses if the houses aren't even full? 1 out of 5, 1 out of 5, 1 out of 5, like what's the issue? 1 out of 5, there's still m many houses that are, that have space in them. Why do you say there are no houses? But okay, in any way, um, like I said, um, the, the game is good. Honestly, I'm 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 happy with the game. The game is good, and um, yeah, uh, the developers said that the game will cost around twenty dollars. So they haven't provided a set price for the game. Um, obviously, like I said, I'm recording this uh, before the game is actually released, and the game developers gave me pre early access. Uh, to the game um, so I, I can't say that the game will cost $20 or $25 I can assume that it would cost $25 let's go with $25 to be safe um, the game will have a 10% uh, discount um, upon launch so that's nice obviously and then like I said the game will also be in a bundle with a uh, patron as well and like i uh told you guys i've played a uh, patron it's actually a really nice game i can totally uh recommend patron to anyone who likes um these types of games you know so i can show you guys over here just quickly again before we end um patron it's a really nice game i've played the game um it's a really nice colony uh sim and then uh, you can buy patron together with uh aquatico to also um get an additional um discount on the game as well so um, the game is re releases 12 January. Currently, it is a couple days before 12 January, as uh, of the date of me recording this video. So the game is not available um, for purchase right now. There is a uh, demo that you can play, and um, yeah, try out the game uh, if you want. I can definitely recommend the game. It's a nice game in my opinion. There's some tiny issues with the game, but honestly, um, 
it's it's small issues like honestly I, I can recommend the game without any issues um the issues that there are can definitely be fixed um really easily um let's just increase the happiness of them over here a little bit because i haven't built any any um stuff in here yet that um increases their happiness or stuff like that so we can probably build here and here and then over here that should be good what what's the total now where do you see the total 62 okay that's fine 62 is 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 enough for now um so yeah guys i like the graphics the graphics look really nice uh, i've now played for more than two hours i haven't encountered a single glitch which really is commendable apart from the the one where they um delivered 400 plastic and i didn't actually get the 400 plastic that's a glitch that's definitely a glitch but one glitch or one bug in a game that isn't even released yet um like that's that's actually uh really commendable you know um and i really like the concept of the game i like the concept of um uh building underwater you don't get too many games like this that allow you to build underwater um so i really quite like it you know it's nice uh it's a nice aesthetic um, you get too many games like Anno uh, that are simply um, the regular building on an island or building on a piece of land, you know. Not too many games do this underground, uh, or not underground, um, underwater uh, building thing. Like there's maybe two that I've ever played colony uh colony some uh base building games that i've ever played that allow you to build underwater maybe two that i can think of so honestly um there's not a lot and this one does it very well like seriously it it does it it does it very well um and it's certainly a lot cheaper than something like anno so yeah, I, I can recommend Anno over this game, but you need to remember that Anno costs like $40 or whatever. What's the price? Let me quickly look up the price of um, Anno 1800, which is the most recent one. It's $60. So this game is a third of the price. It's 30% the price of anno 1800 so yeah even though in my opinion anno 1800 has more content uh and certainly more replayability than this game um i mean it costs three times what this game costs you know which is obviously uh um like you need to definitely take that into consideration when um thinking of buying the game you know so um yeah guys i can definitely recommend the game the game is nice and um yeah the developers were nice enough to provide me with a pre-early access key um so that i can review the game for you guys i will also disclose that i also received payment for playing this game uh, which isn't too uncommon uh, these days uh, for my channel. I've done probably three or four of these in the past two months. Um, it simply means that I will review a developer's game who pays me over a game developer who doesn't pay me. Because I have to be serious with you, I have about 20 games in my Steam library that I have not played yet, that I've received code for, that I I just don't have time to do. I will do it eventually, but I just do not have time to 
spend two hours playing 30 different games uh, and so when a developer pays me to play their game then they get put in the front of the line they simply get put in the front of the line in the front of the queue for me to uh, check out their game so my opinions are still completely my own the developer simply gave me incentive to actually review their game before all of the other games that i have to review the games where i am not receiving any payment for so that's basically the long and the short of it so uh, yeah guys um that's pretty much it i'm i'm pretty happy with the game i have to say like um i did not know what to expect since this is the very first game from this studio um but honestly i'm 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 impressed like really i'm impressed with the game and um i can definitely recommend the game and like i said also check out um uh patron i've played patron it's a good game even if you don't play this game play patron it's still a really good um uh, game it's a really good how the hell am i out of mouses already again it's a really good game and uh, maybe if you've played patreon because the two games are pretty similar even though like i said patreon is built on land the the, the um the setting of the game is on land whereas this is underwater so in my opinion this is a much cooler setting for the game the game takes place in a much cooler place um in my opinion than in um uh what do you call it in um patron you know um but uh, you know everyone likes their own thing you know i i like this game over uh, uh the the setting of this game i like over patron but other people like um playing on on land you know so at least you have two different choices and i can definitely get, recommend both patron and uh this game aquatico oh and i'm out of power again how the hell did that happen how the hell am i out of power already something really pulled a lot of power um so yeah guys that's pretty much it um i can definitely recommend the game check it out it releases on the 12th of january so yeah guys that is it uh, like i said also check out my review for um uh the other uh, uh what's the other game lost lost something uh damn what's that game's name again i forgot now uh eden something <laughs> i said it i said it earlier but now i forgot the name but just check out my channel um there's various other uh city developer games that i've reviewed as well uh, since like probably the past three months there's actually a bunch of them that released recently that i really like and um yeah this is this is an, just another one of them it seems that recently some really good um games of this type has been released let's see maybe this this uh, shark attack oh no this is now on the edge I don't think the shark attack will actually be able to happen here. Let's see. Um, security officer. Okay, let's see. Maybe we are going to see a uh, uh, shark attack before we end here. I just want to see if I can't get more power out somewhere. Because my power is a real issue right now. I need to disable something somewhere. Because... Uh, my power is um, getting sucked out. What can I disable that actually takes power? These ones? Drone factory? Um, I don't want to disable the drone factory and then lose a drone. Okay, let's just disable this one for a second. And then let's see, maybe we will see some some uh hey there's some uh um orcas maybe we will see some sharks ah here we go here we go 
shoot the shit out of him. Shoot! This bloody thing shoots lasers. Ah, oh, that's awesome. I'm glad that we were able to see some combat before ending. Holy shit, it's eating my base. Shoot the bloody thing. Fortunately, only one of them came because they were like bloody... Look at that, there's six of them. So fortunately, only one of them actually came to me. Come on, one more hit. One more hit, critical hit. Boom. Do I get anything from the thing? Okay, so it's ghost. Ghost sharks. Uh, what's this? Prioritize ecology, salvage a minimum amount of batteries, seal the rest inside the rest, wreckage, happiness minus two. Well, I don't really care about the happiness, to be honest. Um, my happiness will increase once again, so let's take the maximum amount. So that's really cool. I'm glad that we at least were able to finish the uh, video with some combat at least i don't know where the rest of the sharks are it seems they ran away after seeing their friend getting obliterated by lasers i would run away too i guess um so yeah guys that's it thanks a lot for watching uh, me play aquatico check it out on steam i'll put all of the links in the description below and uh, i'll see you guys next time